Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for part two to my DLC playthrough for Resident Evil Village. I'm very nervous and apprehensive to get started. We left off with Rose arriving to Lady Benevien Beneviento. I was calling her Lady Benedict the entire playthrough. Apparently it's Beneviento. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, we arrived at the house. It's already very creepy. There's massive monkeys, stuffed monkeys everywhere. I guess it's the same toy from when Rose was a baby. It's been weird. It's been creepy. Rose has powers, which is really cool, but yeah, I'm just going to have to keep playing and hopefully get to the bottom of this mystery. I appreciate you guys being here with me, and I guess let's just get started. There's two of them. Wonderful. Okay, so since Lady Beneviento's dead, I'm really hoping this isn't too scary. It looks rusted shut. Oh, goodness. Welcome, Rose. This all has to be mental, right? January 5th. Today was my first day of school. I've always wanted to go. I'm gonna hug. I'm gonna give Chris a big hug next time I see him. There were so many kids my age. Okay, wait. This is from her, right? It was like I walked into a TV show or something. I was so scared when I had to introduce myself to the class, but I was still super duper excited to be there. I'm going to make so many friends. I'm gonna try and talk to them tomorrow. January 8th, I tried to be brave and talk to some other kids, but no one wants to talk to me. Schoolwork is super easy, but it's all stuff I learned with mommy, but I guess I shouldn't answer all the teacher's questions. The boy behind me says something really mean. My hands go icky with white sweat when I panic. It was really bad today. February 10th, today the teacher yelled at me for always carrying my hanky. She says I'm not a baby anymore. Hold up. <laughs> a teacher yelled? The boy at school keeps saying I'm icky. But I take a bath every night, always wear clean clothes, and bring a fresh hanky every day. It's because of the stupid white sweat. Whenever it starts coming out of my hands, I wipe it off right away. But sometimes it won't wipe off, so I just hold my hanky really tight. Chris even told the teachers it can't get anyone sick, but it didn't change anything. April 4th, someone finally talked to me. Lucy from my class says she's always wanted to be friends. We're going to have lunch together tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I hope Lucy's friend Catherine will be my friend too. This is... Her journal? Okay, we need the baby. The crystal's right there, but n there's no way to get it. Playtime. Oh no. Oh no. You don't need that junk. Hey, my stuff. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Not again with this bullcrap. No. Mr. Monkey has a tummy ache. It, he might give you the crystal if you help him. Aw, oh, come on. We could rip that open with our hands. Come on. Oh, Rosa's shadow just scared the shit out of me. Okay. There's just no way it could be worse than the first time. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. There's no way it could be worse. If I... I was gonna say if I made it through that, I could make it through this, but... Just go. 
Oh, that's just a hole in the wall. <laughs> the stuffed locker, the picture on the bookshelf, the desk covered in stuff. A desk covered in stuff? This one? 66 or 99? Probably a 66? <laughs> 66 to... So two, oh, I don't, uh, wait, what is, wait a second. The stuff locker, the picture on the bookshelf. So two blank 66. I think it was a six. <laughs> it looks rusted shut. Why is this stuff still breaking? Okay, it's gonna be okay. Run, run, run. Just freaking run. Talking. Huh? Uh, you know how to play with dolls, don't you? Again? What now? Maybe you'll get the crystal once you get the campfire started. Oh, F off with this. Really? <laughs> this is so stupid. Lucy, I bet you can find all kinds of places to play with this doll and her friends. Okay. Lucy goes there. Jimmy's room. Okay. Who in the world is Jimmy? Someone really went all out. It's right handed it's right hand is raised, Catherine is written on it in crayon. Right hand is raised. <laughs> oh. 
What? Huh? The purse is still here. The mystery purse. What in the world? Um, I think I was supposed to have that doll. wasn't there, I don't think. It's the Mia. That's the Mia doll, right? Or the... Whatever. Whoa. I hate this game. <laughs> Is it closer? Its arms are raised as though it's holding a long stick. Uh. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong? So you want me to play with dolls? We need to clean that gross mold off of her. Oh, okay. I think I see. Back to the room. So I'm assuming we start in that room. Okay, Lucy. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fuck you. Man, Rose is so brave. <laughs> I don't have it in me. I would never do this again. I literally said that. Are you kidding? Why? 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 Rose, it's it's okay if you want to leave. We can leave. <laughs> I'm not looking. Nope. It's behind me. I know it's behind me. <laughs> God. This is so creepy. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Just 
just run. Run, 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 run. Oh my goodness. Run! I, I, uh. No. Whew. Okay. Wait, do I have all the dolls? Yes. <sighs> More dripping on... Oh, we don't have a gun. <laughs> she was pickpocketed too? Wow. Three dolls, that screams right here. Um, probably getting a present. Probably pointing. I I don't freaking know. This doll shit is sick. This is like, not in a good way, like sick in the head. Like, sicko. Like what in the actual hell? Oh, there's gonna be something. Ah! Oh god, I, I freaking knew it! God, I hate you! Oh my god! This <laughs> Stop! Oh my gosh! Lucy. Lucy. Um. And then he's probably carrying a pile of sticks. Wow. Seriously. Fuck you. Even the dolls are demented. Wow. <sighs> oh my god, I forgot it was there. Oh, she's dead. So sad. You're still looking for the crystal? Fine. I'll help you out. Just take the elevator to me. Mommy might be upset that I'm helping you, though. What? Who are you? Let's play statues. The game, it's game over if they catch you. What? Excuse me? Don't look away. What?
Fuck. Jesus Christ! said it so many times being chased i can't handle it i'm looking at you bitch go 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 This shit. Do you know where it is? <laughs> I've gathered some friends just for you. Entertain them. And maybe I'll tell. Uh, what is going on here? Let's play hide and seek. Can you make it all the way here without getting caught? Where do I go? Probably right, I'm assuming. I can't let them see me. I guess I should keep heading this way. Um, whoa, hold on. What the hell am I supposed to do? There's two.
Okay, that one goes back. Oh shit. Okay, I think I've seen my opportunity. <clears throat> Crap. This is terrifying. Okay, that's bullshit. Wondering the same thing. What am I supposed to do? Oh. So many. If they see me, I'm 
toast. There's gotta be something I can do. Oh, okay. Was smarter than what I tried. I have to be quick. Okay, there's a gap right here. Kind of. This the gap. Okay. What to do? Maybe I have to fight? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. 
uh, attack. Yeah, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Wow. Like, what am I supposed to do? Um, I mean, I didn't want to do that. What? What would have been the alternative? Uh, I need to heal bad. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I think the bedroom is just over there. No, you didn't. Oh. Okay, sure. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this is a freaking shut up, nightmare. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Oh my goodness. I have to be watching for those
anybody talking about my dad. I never even met him. No, I, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about him. I wish I did. All I know is he died protecting me. Sometimes I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he's taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, read me a story every night. Would he have been there for me, proud of me? Sometimes when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. Oh, goodness. Where are we? It feels familiar. Like I've been here before. Look at all the decorations. What's the house? Some kind of party? Didn't they do like a six month birthday celebration? She bangs her spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. She's so little. Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. So Dad was a wine drinker. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. I bet Dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. Don't upstairs? forget to look upstairs. I'll take a look. Okay, nothing. Ethan, don't forget, Rose's half birthday is on the second. I'm gonna make an amazing cake, so you better eat it. In fact, I'm gonna make a cake for every special occasion we have. I want you to take lots of pictures for our family album. I haven't seen mom in ages. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Where is Mia? I, I know. She's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. I wonder how we played with this. Okay. This is my bedroom? February 2nd is Rose's half birthday, half a year in the blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment, these feelings, so I wrote something special. I may have gotten a, a bit sappy, though. I'd be embarrassed if anyone stumbles across it, so it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favorite photo. It's safe in the sideboard. Oh, that? Okay. Behind my favorite photo. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. <sighs> A letter? 
for me. Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be oh. there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious Rose. Never forget that, Dad. You know, loves you. No! Michael! Michael, help! Michael! No! I didn't get the other items. No! No! I was gonna look at those last. <laughs> Guess. you're looking for isn't here <laughs> so you don't have the purifying crystal that was Evelyn the entire time of course not <laughs> for that you'll have to go deeper much deeper Poor Rose. She can't trust anyone. Why are you doing this? Because Evelyn is psychotic. No one loves you. <laughs> she is what you're crazy. Dead. No one will come. <laughs> Enough games. Now you're Evelyn drowned. is a nightmare. I need to get uh, out of this house first. Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond worthless! Seriously, what is your problem? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I am so, so, so mad that Evelyn is back. What a psycho. Just so greedy. R1, R1. Damn. R1, R1. I'm trying to use my powers. Go. Die! Go. Go. Go, 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 go! Should have been a chance. <sighs> they were supposed to die and join me here! They stop it. How are you even here? Yeah, I mean, I want to know too. Michael, good, you made it out. No, be careful. <laughs> We're not safe. We haven't been safe, Michael. Not once, Evelyn. 
Evelyn's Evelyn causing this. We still can't get out. Oh my goodness. Use your powers on her. I can help once she's weak. Flip. Don't panic, you've got this. some sort of instruction It looks rusted Die. shut. We to be a oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I don't... That was kind of hard. Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Was Michael Ethan the entire time? Like I said earlier. <sighs> mm. 
You're kidding. Michael? Are you there? Uh, it might be Ethan. Uh, the voice sounded like Ethan. <laughs> Rose, look out! Saved me, but he didn't make it. That voice, my dad's voice, is Michael, my dad. Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. Dang, Ethan's stuck in here? I have to find that crystal. I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. What's all this doing out here? And again, ammo. Oh, okay, perfect. Let's see if we can craft some ammo. Mm. Where the hell am I? Is this place? I thought we destroyed all this. <laughs> okay. I figured something would be hidden right there. Okay. They're all just like in the castle. There gonna be any lichens? <laughs> I'm even stronger than before. Uh. Hello? Uh, maybe I shouldn't kill these? Come on.
Okay. All right, before I go any further, let's use one of those. Use it again. I need to find that crystal. Oh, of course it's down here. Why wouldn't it be? Lovely. Megamycete absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. One, the memories that compromise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Two, only those who are attuned to the mutamycete in life retain control of their vac faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the megamyce, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived, have continued to strive, they are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred me here to the megamyce, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement, with so many minds and memories gathered here. Finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the, the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know of the perfect vessel, the only real candidate in all my years of searching, Rosemary Winters. Someone's been here. That sounds like something Miranda would have said. I've been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating, reviving the consciousness stored within the Megamyce. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time, it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamyce and mixed with other consciousnesses and memories. Extracting and reassembling an individual who is thus diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I de decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousnesses to create an entity. The, result, the results are fascinating. I gathered fragments, re-spooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual birthed anew in this realm. A success to be sure, but while his unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Conclusion, while manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. So I guess the Duke... That seems like the Dukes. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference has prevented me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I've succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk can never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference... Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. One, the fact that Rose herself is still alive. Two, some other actor within this realm. And three, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm. Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. <laughs> Additional observations. Further experiments with these Rose copies, as I've been, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some resemblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. They couldn't have wow. been watching me the entire time, could they? It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousnesses, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder has none other than the failure, Eveline. 
Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamycete powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. This has got to be Miranda, right? I think so. Ethan, where are you? Come help. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. That pull I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought I had made it when I saw that blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger, so close, I was so close. I'm almost there. Michael. <laughs> Ethan? Probably. I'm not going to say it's 100% Ethan, but I think. It's through here. Black God, which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth. Not to destroy, but to preserve, and once again, deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This one's the real deal. <sighs> I can feel it. This is not going to go over well. It's working. Oh my god. Is this what normal feels like? Oh no. <laughs> Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. You had become so powerful, far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? That Kay was an illusion. Wow. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! You gotta let it go, man. What the hell? Rose, run! <sighs> Ethan, you pest! Go! <sighs> I knew it. He can manifest. He can save you, Rose! No one can. Rose! Rose, hurry! You can't <laughs> escape! Not from me! Father daughter bonding. Dad, wait, hold up. Is it really you? Yes, but right now you need to run. Run! This is crazy. He's stuck here? I hate that. Rose! Ugh, I hate that. 
Thanks. Why didn't you tell me who you really were? Why'd you let me call you Michael? I didn't want to complicate things. I just needed you safe. Things are complicated. <laughs> Very complicated. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! <laughs> oh, Ethan, don't play this game. <laughs> Get away from my daughter. Stay away from my family. Yeah. Rose, yeah. That's right. I didn't mean to press that. Oops. <laughs> you can't escape the ropes. Ethan, persistence as always. Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you. But I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. <laughs> I feel like she's about to go super Saiyan. Saiyan? Saiyan? I don't know how to say it, but she's gonna do it. Reloading, I was trying to. There's no shields. And even if you were to survive, what would be the point? You can't save your father. You are of two different worlds. I won't let you do this! Such power. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay, I think I see. This is okay. Don't resist. There will be wailing and gnashing. Have to time it better. This will all soon be. Okay. <laughs> See if I can do this properly this time. Oh no! Apparently not. There's <laughs> nothing. I didn't realize it was that sensitive on time. Dude, the reload is so slow. Offer yourself unto me. Do I have heals? Yeah. Wait. I forgot I had a shotgun. That's silly. Here I come. How about this? Yeah. 
Why do you fight? You cannot hurt me. I... It took so much to lure me. But you're incredible. Well... Aw. Oh. The camera is so slow. You will fall. I am contemplating this world within the Mega Mindset to resurrect my spirit. But no matter how many vessels I have, do not have the power to reach them. That is why it must be you. You are the only one who can bring her back to me. Whatever it takes, whatever I must do, I will see this. My timing is horrendous. Okay, hold on. Let's heal. Fully heal. Now, become. Okay, the mechanics of this are weird. I'm not gonna lie. The camera is turning so slow. I could probably fix that, but... Not this. Why do you... Okay, I think I'm slowly getting the hang of this a little better. Why suffer needs? There we go. This will all soon be. Do you still 
not see. There is no happy ending. Says the wicked witch at the end of her reign. And you kill the only one who understands you. Did Ethan just give his oh no Ethan. I will Return and yield your strength to me So much power you truly would have been the perfect vessel for my Eva let it rest, woman. Let it rest. Not a goddamn vessel. Not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. And you're done. Yeah. I cannot believe that. Are we gonna see his face? You're, you're so corrupt now. Even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No, not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice, and I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. Aww. Again? What? I love you too, Dad. Mm. 
Wow. <laughs> Ethan cannot catch a break. I'm back. I'm back. Where's the other ring that she was wearing? <gasps> oh, she's good. Gotcha. She didn't have the ring yet. <laughs> Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. Gotcha. Okay, so the ending of being silly. the <laughs> main game was set after the DLC with her. Okay. was Mia's ring though the one with the um the diamond on it hey dad happy birthday sorry I missed last week I have a lot of tests coming up you know how it is <laughs> Damn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Today of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Oh, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can like they would shoot her, really. She's just a kid. I clearly want to use her. Jeez. I want you to keep it together, Rose. He should be apologizing. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. When she said that last time, I thought maybe she just heard stories, but now that makes a lot of sense. She met him. Okay, that did not take me nearly as long as I thought it would. I'm very glad that I decided to play this because Rose finally, or not finally, because it never would have happened, but like Rose being able to meet Ethan made it all the creepiness worth it. Um, I'm not happy that they did that again with the dollhouse. I'm really not. I think once was enough. That was overkill. They didn't have to do that to me, but I made it through. I'm alive. I'm good. And... Rose made it back safely, thank goodness. I already gave you guys my thoughts on the um, main game on the final episode of that, but I do want to add here that are they making another game? Because the way that the game ended with Chris being like, okay, we're going to go to the build headquarters or whatever and, you know, we're going to deal with the bioweapons that they've made, that makes me think that there's going to be another game. And then they're also saying that Chris needs Rose... So, will it, I guess, maybe be centered around Rose and Chris? Anyways, I really enjoyed this story. I'm glad that I decided to play the next one after 7. Wasn't going to, but you guys were very good at persuading, and 
I think it was definitely worth it. I enjoyed this a lot and it just makes me want to play more Resident Evil games. So that is the plan. I get a lot of questions about that. I do plan on playing more Resident Evil games. So do not worry. I really appreciate you guys watching this. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys for my next video. Bye guys.